This is a, an ESA parabolic flight campaign, the 77th of our campaigns. We've been going for many, many years. And sometimes we are lucky enough to have uh, other organizations join us. Here we have many experiments, mostly from European member states, uh, some professionals, some students. But uh, our particular experiment with NASA this time. So we're very happy we found such a barter agreement um, for, for NASA to have their experiment here and to welcome uh, Karina and, and her team. And uh, ESA has been uh, providing the, the, the facility, uh, the campaign management. We've been uh, finding the test subjects for them to study. I am Dr. Karina marshall Goebel. I'm here with KBR from the NASA Johnson Space Center Cardiovascular and Vision Laboratory. I'm the principal investigator of this study and we are planning to look at the, uh, the blood flow that is flowing out of the head and back to the heart. So we're looking at the main veins that drain that blood. It's the internal jugular veins, um, as well as the brachiocephalic veins, which then bring the blood back to the heart. And we're doing this with ultrasound. Uh, we're interested in looking at this because we recently saw during long duration space flight on the International Space Station, uh, stagnant blood flow that was not flowing back to the heart. It was sitting within the vessels. Uh, some subjects also had blood going the reversed way, going back to the head, so very obscure findings. And one of our crew members also had a, a blood clot in their left internal jugular vein. So we're trying to understand the timing of this occurring, these blood flow changes, um, if it only occurs during long duration space flight or if it also occurs during short duration exposure to zero gravity, for example, during parabolic flight. That would help inform us if um, this risk of slow blood flow and blood clots is also a risk for um, space flight participants, commercial tourism, uh, space flight tourism, uh, short duration missions to the moon, or if it's only really a problem for long duration space flight. Having slow blood flow in your internal jugular veins appears to be a problem unique to uh, the zero gravity environment. Um, when you're on the ground, you have gravity pulling that blood down to your legs, um, especially when you're upright position. That's why on long duration flights, for example, across the ocean, some people might have blood sitting in their legs if they're not getting up and moving around and they can develop blood clots. We have almost the opposite issue in spaceflight where the blood is actually coming to the upper body and is sitting in some vessels like the internal jugular vein. And that only happens really in zero gravity because uh, you don't have the gravity pulling it back down. So we're able to use parabolic flight uh, to measure these changes in the blood flow and the internal jugular veins as these changes occur very quickly uh, within seconds of, upon exposure into the zero-g environment. Um, so with using ultrasound, we can see these changes happen immediately and look at those changes in the blood flow through the internal jugular veins.